name is Sean Cousins. I took Henri's course in 2016. And at the time of taking this course, I was in my fourth year of a dual degree program with business and biology. Looking back, I can definitely say this course was one of the most challenging courses I took, but also definitely the most rewarding uh, course and just overall experience I had during my undergrad. Um, you know, there's so many different memories I can look back on now, especially um, with my placement at EDD, which was a center for boys who have been living on the street. Um, there's so many things I can look back on now that, um, you know, small experiences that added up to really changing uh, my perspective on, on life and how I see the world. Um, but really what I think made that possible and what makes this experience in this course really unique is the fact that, you know, for eight or nine years before I went, and even more now, uh, Henri and his students um, had put in a lot of work already over the years, and our community partners in Rwanda had put in a lot of work to building relationships between Western and these partners. Um, and so when we showed up, we weren't starting from scratch, we were continuing uh, to build these relationships. And um, I think that really went a long way in opening up experiences for this for myself and the other students that wouldn't have been possible um, otherwise. And all, it also goes a long way in making this experience mutually beneficial for, for the students as well as for uh, the community that we're working in for five weeks. And so reflecting back now, I think that's what made it made it really impactful and it's tough to, to summarize some of my experiences there. Um, but I just feel lucky that I was, I was able to be part of this because I think it's really unique what's been built over the years. Hi, my name is Anita. I participated in the Rwanda Community Service Learning course um, in the summer of 2014 to 2015, and then again in the summer of 2015 to 2016, where I was the TA for the course. Um, so I'm so happy that there's this online, uh, like a virtual exhibit for this course, because it genuinely was one of the best experiences I had as an undergraduate student. Um, I really didn't know what to expect going in. Um, at Western at the time, I was a health size student, um, but I I grew really fascinated with Rwanda in a, in a political science course that I took that was looking at how the development of Rwanda's healthcare system um, was able to get so strengthened into one of the best healthcare systems in the whole continent um, post the Rwandan genocide. And so that's how I kind of got introduced um, to the field. And then while in Rwanda, both years I had the opportunity to work with Center Marambo um, and with Nicolette and the amazing team there, and it was such an incredible experience. Um, we both years worked on a sexual health curriculum that we were going around teaching to students, um, trying to promote like safe sexual health practices. Um, and I really think that those two those two years that I spent uh, volunteering and working as a part of this course helped shape you know, my education and my career to come. So after graduating from uh, Western with an honors in health side, I uh, went on to McGill and I did a master's in epidemiology. And then from then, I stayed at McGill um, and I'm currently a third year medical student now. Um, and a lot of the, you know, the sexual health counseling that we did there, a lot of the, the health promotion counseling that we did, um, I use almost every day in my, in my life as a medical student. So if anyone is considering doing this course, um, ne next year, anytime in the future, um, I couldn't support it more. Um, Henri is truly the best, uh, Professor Boye, I should say, I'm sorry, is truly the best uh, leader, educator you could ever ask for. And the organizations that they work for in Rwanda um, are truly life-changing, not only for the people on the ground there, but for the students as well. Hi, my name is Maxime Crawford Holland. Um, Dr. Boye's course changed my life. It's the best course I've ever taken. Um, at the time, I was doing an undergrad in music education, and then I went on to do my master's also in music education. Um, now, this community-engaged learning course has had a huge impact in shaping who I am, what I'm doing academically and professionally, uh, and really pushed my social awareness as a student, as a teacher, uh, as a community worker, 
and just as a person in general. Uh, before going to Rwanda, the theoretical side um, played a really big role. We engaged in a lot of discussions and a lot of literature on service learning and some problematics of Western aid and the white savior complex. Those understandings were really important to effectively collaborating with communities and working with them. Uh, it's something I continue to think about now a lot in my work. And the course had intense reflection components as well. So before, during, and after the course, there was a lot of reflection involved, uh, which has made me a more critical and reflective person. And of course, when we were there, we were working with the same people in Rwanda every day for five weeks. And in my experience, that was where the real learning was happening. We stayed there, we developed relationships with people, and we really grew there. And then of course, coming back too, uh, I've learned a lot with that contrast moment of coming back to Western culture and very individualistic ways of living. Um, and then in the following, the years following the course, which was almost five years ago now, uh, it continues to have a really profound impact on me because it changed me and it influenced my path, my life path, not just professionally, but personally too. Um, after the course, you know, I worked with community programs in London, Ontario. My master's capstone project was about the impacts of community engaged learning experiences, uh, most notably Henri's course. And then most recently I moved to Whitehorse Yukon, which is where I'm living now. And I'm working as a manager at Boys and Girls Clubs of Yukon. So merci à toi Henri. Hello, my name is Kiana Gallucci. I am a Western University graduate and I participated in Professor Henri Boyer's experiential learning course in 2016. I began my university career on a visual arts scholarship, so I was in the studio arts and SASA stream. While I appreciated its foundations, I was disappointed with continually being taught the Western perspective and never feeling like my curriculum represented people who looked like me. As a descendant of the African diaspora, I was always inclined to learn about African politics and politics of the global south at large. Luckily, I was approached by Professor Boye in my first year of university, and he told me about his course and how it analyzed Rwanda's history to understand and contextualize its current development. Learning about Rwanda from Professor Boye provided a completely different perspective from what I was familiar with. I learned a philosophy such as Ubuntu, which means I am because you are. Such aspects of the course helped me view humanity and community with an understanding contrary to the Western perspective. The opportunity to live and interact with communities in Rwanda allowed us to apply the theories we learned beyond the classroom. Still, it also helped us learn lessons that a classroom could never teach. Reflections I made in that experience galvanized a shift in my academic and personal goals. When I returned from Rwanda in 2016, I switched my program from visual arts to political science. I continued to critique the Western lens throughout my studies. The majority of my research centered around the politics of the Global South and African politics. I built on the knowledge gained from Professor Boye's course to establish my research interest. Since my initial introduction to Rwanda in 2016, I have lived in Rwanda and Tanzania. Specializing in African politics has set me apart from other prospective political science master's students. I am currently pursuing my master's degree in political studies at Queen's University. I am also honored to be the assistant to an internationally prominent scholar in African politics. All of this to say, participating in Professor Boyi's course did not change my life so much as it helped change my perspective on life. That experience helped me understand that as a person who values community and never felt represented by Western curriculums, my purpose is to use the privileges I do have to create space for other people and other ways of knowing that are commonly excluded from narratives of the West. I will be forever grateful for what I learned in Professor Boyi's course. Thank you.